At ngayon naman po, mula sa Barangay BF Homes, Community Learning Center, Junior High School A and D Program, let's all welcome Mr. John Vincent M. Galicia. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joe Vincent Galicia, 20 years old and currently enrolled sa Junior High School Program under the Alternative Learning System. I am honored to be able to share my story here today. I was born a blue baby, also known as someone with congenital heart disease. I had my first open heart surgery when I was three months old. Of course, at that time, I was not aware of what was happening. When I turned four years old, my parents were the ones who taught me how to read. And because I am eager to learn, I kept on reading and learning more. If I ever had a question in my mind, I would read about it and ask my parents to get the answer. Nowadays, people had been saying that the new normal is just staying home, having limited activities, not being able to travel, and needing to do almost everything on a computer or a cell phone. They say that this is the new normal, but for me, it was just my normal life. Growing up, I was not able to walk or roam around the house because if I did, I'll have a hard time breathing. Going to the mall was also limited and I never got to travel much because of that. I do not even go outside if I don't need to. Most of the time, I go outside because of my checkups. Likewise, I have limited activities. This has always been the normal way of living for me. When I was 11 years old, I had my second surgery. I may say that there were many improvements, like being able to roam around my house more. I can stay at I can stay and go to some places outside my house for more hours than I would be able to normally. But still, I stay at home because my surgery is not the final operation yet. Having said this, I was never able to go to school. I was not able to go outside and play with other kids. I was not even able to meet other people my age. But my life is not pitiful. Others may think that I had the saddest life. But you know what? No one has a sad life. No one has a bad life. All of us were given a life to live happily, no matter what the circumstances were and no matter what challenges you face in life. All we have to do is to look at the positive side of our life. Yes, I was never able to go to school due to my condition. And yes, I was never able to meet kids my age. I was always just in front of my dad's work computer, playing games to relax myself, but mostly just researching knowing what I wanted to know, and learning what I wanted to learn. And through, it, through that, I was able to make friends online. I didn't go to school, but with whatever opportunities that were given to me, I used them and took advantage of what I had. I now know a lot more about the computers. I reformat my own computer. I know databases of my computer and servers. I was able to speak another language other than Tagalog. And most importantly, I was able to learn this on my own with no proper training. I guess what I just wanted to share with everyone is no one has a perfect life. No one has a better life or a worse life. All of us have our own blessings and our own trials. 
But even trials has its own blessings in disguise. All we have to do is to change how we look at it and change how it affects us. If we look through the other side of the trials we have, then we can see the blessing in it. So accept all the circumstances wholeheartedly. And if you can't find optimism in it, then don't worry because through all of those circumstances, we are molded into a stronger and better person. Many years passed living the life that was normal for me until the day arrived when my parents discovered the ALS program of DepEd. And because they wanted me to experience formal schooling and knew that I really would like to go to school and finish my studies and be able to learn more, they immediately inquired about it and had me enrolled. At first, I admit, I was nervous because never in my life have I met or socialized with people aside from my relatives, my neighbors, and my online friends. I was anxious and hesitant, but at the same time, I was excited. It was like a new door of opportunities had opened up for me. I was already 18 years old when I started the elementary program in 2019. And on my first day, I found it difficult to speak up. I always had difficulty speaking Tagalog, and I was nervous that I would never be able to keep up with my classmates or my teacher in class or communicate with them properly. But surprisingly, my classmates and my teacher made me feel comfortable. They were patient with me, and as time passed, I started to get more confident in my speaking skills and ability to socialize with their help. With, there were times that it was hard for me to go up the stairs because our classroom was at the third floor of the barangay hall. But fortunately for me, my father was with me and assisted me every time that I had class. There were also times where I would almost faint during class, but I still continued despite that because I was determined to learn and finish my studies. Through ALS, I was able to finally have the normal life that people are saying or experiencing. I was able to meet classmates that turned into friends teachers that turned into guardians. I was able to experience going to school, writing on notebooks, doing assignments and projects. But most of all, I was able to continue my life with more chances of improving myself, my abilities, and knowing more of my potentials. More importantly, I was able to feel that I belong in a world much bigger, that I was able to share my knowledge and talents. Through ALS, I learned that I am someone who can also contribute to the society. It helped me feel that I can do something more, that I can be someone better. Through ALS, my dreams are bigger. And these dreams are now starting to come true. This is the beginning of a new chapter in my life where I can become someone I wanted to be and dreamt of being. And now, through Al's, I was able to share that story. But now that we are in this new normal, there are new challenges, like the availability of our resources, our classroom discussions now being done virtually, having limited time to discuss and to learn, and, of course, not all of the time, the internet signal is fast or reliable. I consider the current situation as a challenge for me. But like before, I need to accept these challenges, these trials, because I love to learn. 
and I don't want this to become a hindrance to my education. I know that what's happening now is just temporary, and I need to continue what I have started. I would like to encourage those out of school youth, those who are not able to continue their schooling due to some reasons, personal, family, or financial, that we still have the chance, the chance to continue and finish our education. Mahalaga na magkaroon ng tamang education despite of our current condition and situation in life. I believe that as long as you have the determination, the willingness to continue and pursue your dream of becoming somebody someday, the ALS program is here to help us. You can go to your local barangays and ask about this program and seize your opportunity to learn. Marami po tayo support system. We can get support not only from our family, but support can be given by our community, our, fr- our peers, friends, our teachers, and our government. What's important is that we have a goal na kailangan nating matuto. Learning should come from within, within ourselves. It's also very important that we have the determination, the determination to learn. Because at the end of the day, it is us, ourselves, that will benefit. Ang sarili po natin ang makikinabang. Just always remember that the biggest room is the room for improvement. Maging determinado lang para ma-reach yung goal mo o yung pangarap sa buhay. It is really important to have an education. Thank you po and have a good and safe morning. Ayan, napakinggan na natin ang napaka-pusay na isang estudyante. Talaga makikita natin na kung gusto natin matuto, gagawa at gagawa tayo ng paraan. Dahil nariyan lang ang mga paraan sa paligid natin at kailangan lang natin tumingin at humingi ng tulong sa kanila. Dahil ang paghingi ng tulong ay hindi kabawasan ng ating integridad. Bagkos, maaabot pa natin ang ating mga mitihiin. Sabi nga ni, sabi nga ni ano, diba, last na speaker natin, look for the positive view of our life. Atin namang salubungin ang susunod na mag-share ng kwento. Let's